Are you getting annoyed like me looking for a repository in GitHub that's so uncomfy? It's very hard to always checking the files if you want a specific um, commit or if you want to go to and check specific change that you made compared to just watch everything in a directory, the same as Visual Studio Code, the ID that you already work on. And you can do all the global thing that you have in Visual Studio. You can use here uh, global searching, file searching, uh, open uh, files, as you know, and also split the screen. Today I'm going to show you how you can do it in one second. So stay tuned. We're about to start. Feel free to follow for more amazing tutorial. Welcome back, guys. So today I'm going to show you, as I said at the beginning, how to view every GitHub repository as a Visual Studio code. It's very easy, very simple. All you need to do, you just need to do like one small thing. You need to do um, adding a 1S, okay? You probably heard about it, or if you didn't heard about it, there is a project in GitHub called GitHub 1S. Basically, what they are doing, they're giving you the option to view your code, other people's code, public code, basically, in um, GitHub repository, view it as a Visual Studio code, and here I'm going to show you on the screen how you can do it. Let's just choose um, Node.js, boiler, uh, uh, Boilerplate. So what you need to do, just add a domain before the .com. You need to add one S. That's it. Once you're doing that, it's opening you uh, the directory, the repository in a Visual Studio like online. It's crazy. It's so easy now to view repository, to search for file. Um, to search for specific um, uh, word or comment or function in specific file. You can also open a file, as you know, control P, uh, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of the functionality that you're already familiar with Visual Studio Code, now it's come to the browser. And if GitHub is not enough for you, this feature also come to NPM library, NPMJS library. Uh, the same thing, all you need to do is just search for uh, your specific NPM uh, library. It can be React, it can be whatever you're using for your uh, NPM uh, uh, library. And the only thing that you just need to do, the same thing as we did before, you just need to add one S before the dot com. That's it, NGS, NPM JS, one S dot com. And you can review the library that you just saw in Visual Studio. Very comfortable, very easy. Um, it's basically, it's basically good for developer also for if you're doing code, code review or it's amazing how easy it, how simple it is. This feature saved me a lot of time and all of my team using that. Uh, it's amazing uh, feature. I really recommend it. I decided to do a, a small video just about that so you can see it and basically save a lot of time. If you like the feature or if you are a startup or a SaaS company, who are looking for a cloud solution, or if you are even uh, looking to learn more about cloud full stack developing, you are in the right place. So basically, I'm giving you the option today. It's very simple to book a free consultation with me. You just need to go to my YouTube channel, go to about. There is a link there, uh, free consultation call. It's getting you to a uh, Calendly. You just adding uh, when it's suit for you, what is your uh, name, email, and question that you wanna talk about. And now you have the option to have a free consultation call about scaling your system, about full stack development, about DevOps. Feel free to reach out. Thank you for uh, watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with people that you love. And if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below. Have an amazing day.